Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Canine influenza was first discovered in the United States in 2004, and since then, the continental U.S. has experienced major outbreaks and multiple fatalities. To explain what the dog flu is and how to protect our pets, we welcome to the program the National Medical Director for VCA Canada, Dr. Daniel Joffe, and Alvin, of course. Welcome to both of you. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Um, I think that this is a point of education for people who may not know about this influenza, so describe to us what this illness is in pets. Right. So so canine influenza, it's a similar virus to, to the flu that we get I influenza in people and there's multiple species that the flu can affect and each species tends to have their own virus and, and sometimes we have viruses that go from animals to man like bird flu and, and swine flu mm -hmm. but often it stays within a species and as you mentioned until uh, around 2004 there was no canine influenza virus. But in 2004, there was an outbreak of a, a virus, and it's called H3N8. It started on greyhound tracks in Florida and very quickly spread through most of the continental United States. Two years ago, a new species came from, uh, from Asia, and it's called H3N2. And there was a major outbreak in the Chicago area and then spread through a lot of the Midwest and then to most states in the U.S., the way it sits right now is influenza is present in all but two of the continental United States, mm -hmm. and, but for some reason we haven't seen it in Canada until earlier this month there were two dogs that came to Windsor, Ontario from South, South Korea through the United States and they were sick, they were ill, and it was found that they had the H3N2 virus. Mm. Five dogs that were in contact with those dogs then became uh, then turned positive, but luckily it hasn't turned into a big outbreak there. But we are expecting at some point there will be an outbreak in Canada. Mm. One of the problems is dogs in Canada have never been exposed to the virus. They're what we call naive, and so they're more susceptible to having a major outbreak. So we're waiting for it. Hopefully it won't happen, right. but we do expect it at some point. So for Calgary pet owners, what should they know today and how can they take measures to ensure that pets don't get sick? Yeah, well, canine influenza is part of a bigger complex called canine infectious respiratory disease complex, or we shorten it to CIRDC. The old name used to be kennel cough. Mm -hmm. Any cough based in the windpipe, we call kennel cough or CIRDC. And that disease complex is caused by dozens of different viruses and bacteria, canine influenza being probably the newest one that we know of. Right. We can protect against three of the pathogens that cause CIRDC, and we can also protect against canine influenza. There is a vaccine available for dogs for both types of canine influenza. Now, should pet owners in Calgary start vaccinating for a disease that we've never really seen in Canada right. until recently? Probably not. I'm not recommending it to my clients, but what we are recommending is keeping our eyes and ears open and that if the disease does take hold and start to, to uh, cause outbreaks in Canada, then people should know that the vaccine is available and they can talk to their veterinarian to see if it's time to have their pet vaccinated. And what are some of those signs that a pet might be sick? The signs of CIRDC is coughing, okay? A dog gets a, a harsh barking cough. Mm -hmm. But with some of the pathogens, especially influenza, it can turn into a moist cough. They can get secondary pneumonia, uh, which can in some cases be fatal. Mm -hmm. um, they often get a lot of nasal discharge and discharge from their eyes, and they get very, very sick. Most of the other pathogens that cause the complex just cause coughing. So the dog's coughing, but they're not unwell. They're still eating and drinking and active. But with influenza, they're much, much sicker. So owners should watch for that. If they, if they see any signs, they should contact their veterinarian. Okay, so something to be aware of for sure and something to um, speak to your own veterinarian if you're concerned that your pet is ill and, and that this might be a, a piece of it. Correct, and, and I recommend vaccination for the regular CIRDC for any dog that's in contact with other dogs. So dogs that go to dog parks, dogs that, that walk in the neighborhood where they might come into contact with other dogs. But presently, I'm not recommending the canine influenza vaccine. But if I'm back two weeks from now and the outbreak's gotten worse, yes. then we may change our tune on that. Okay, then we might change the message. Dr. Joffe, thank you. Alvin, you did very well in your first first go at early morning TV, and there's a yawn to put a cap on it. Thank you so much for joining us this thank morning.